We are now back with some more gizmo. Feel free to join our Discord group. All the links are down below. So for this um, run through, we are going to get a the achievement called Total Shutdown. So basically, we have to get all 21 beacons, uh, destroy all 33 boxes, and kill all 12 enemies. So let's get to it. As you just seen, um, the first beacon is at the very start. Just turn around and go left. The next one's over the cliffside. Look down. And then the third one's located next to the doorway, just tucked around to the left. So now once we go inside, we go under the door, we need to destroy the three boxes here. Behind the pipe to the right, you will find the next beacon. And have you just seen, I'll kill one enemy and grab the box. There's four boxes to the right and the next enemy. Feel free to grab the checkpoint. Just to let you guys and girls know, I believe you have to grab the boxes and kill the enemies again if you happen to die before getting checkpoints. So once you grab the boxes and the uh, beacon, go inside to face your first true enemy, I would say. Jump on top of the head. As I'm struggling right now. Once you've done that, go on to the duct in. Grab your next beacon, do a uh, spin and jump. Or roll and jump. And grab the beacon number seven. Now leave to the next area. As soon as you're in the next area, go left and jump up top here. This will be number 8. Before carrying on, grab the next beacon hold by the statue. Before grabbing the next checkpoint, I would recommend grabbing the boxes and the beacon first, because if you happen to die, you don't have to do the boxes again. Just saves a little bit of time. So now, once we go on to the next statue, we need to jump on top of the head to find the next beacon. Now once we jump over, we'll find some more boxes to the left and right. Grab the uh, boxes and then they kill the next enemy. The next beacon will be the next beacon will be located on top of one of these two pipes. Now once we've successfully done that, leave the area and go to the next checkpoint. Just want to let you know, just grab the box first and grab the beacon. It just saves a little bit of time, not much. And then grab the next beacon located up top. Wait for the enemies to stop attacking, then feel free to attack them. In this area here, you'll find some more beacons and some boxes. The boxes are not really hidden. Uh, the beacons are the, probably the most hidden out of them all. As long as you know where they are, it's fine. So now we're going to go to the next bit now. So this part is the hardest bit, I believe. So jump up here, grab the beacon, and do a um, jump to kill these two. Now follow the pipe up and do not jump down. Grab the boxes. Try your best not to fall down and don't panic. So once we've successfully killed that guy, we can now actually jump down. I believe this is the point of no return once you get to a certain point, so you can't go back. But the game's not very long anyway, so it's not really a hardship to restart over. Grab the next beacon on top of the um, ice cliff there to the right, and now continue forward. Next to the pipe, you will find beacon number 20. This will be your last and final enemy, so jump across this platform, jump on his head, and then we killed. We've got all boxes now. We got all the uh, enemies killed and we just need one more beacon. So the last beacon is next to the very end of the level. So grab the beacon and hit the exit. Also don't forget to uh, hit up our Discord. I'll see you guys and girls next time.